explaining to Dr. Michael how you feel about this challenging experience. Thankfully, his presence is calming. The year is 1977. difficult yeah you don't have to apologize I understand well yeah no go ahead go ahead yeah mm -hmm. well that's what I was gonna say that my skill set will definitely help you to overcome this temporary situation you know, I'm always telling my clients that try not to make permanent decisions about temporary situations. And the fact that you're here to get treatment shows that you're willing to go through a process and that you have patience and perseverance. And we need that. You need that so that you can be able to progress and move forward from this situation. Yeah, absolutely. It's very common. Yeah, it's very common. I see singers, public speakers all the time, you know. Now, the severity of the situation is different. Some people, their damage is much more severe. And some, you know, they recover much more quickly. Now, in your case, I'd say it's about moderate. Yeah, mo yeah. Exactly. So if you go through the things that I'm going to show you, if you stay diligent, then I promise you, you will get your voice back. It's repairable. You are not permanently damaged. Okay? All right, good. So let me show you the utensils that I have, and let's get into it. I'm going to help you. All right. So just, you know, I'm always about making sure I'm planning this, especially in these times. So. supposed to uh, have lunch. Well, I was actually supposed to have lunch earlier, um, but I postponed it because, you know, appointments ran behind and I didn't want to postpone you any longer. But I, I say all that to say that you might hear my stomach growling, okay? <laughs> yeah. I apologize in advance. I have some exercises and some tools that I want you to use for your vocal recovery, but I think it's essential that as the operator of your voice, you're, you're the instrument, and so it's always beneficial to learn more about your instrument, okay? And I mean in a detailed way. Basically, I want you to gain 
understanding about the anatomy of your voice. Okay, so this is the first resource that I have for you. All right, so this is a book that will teach you about the anatomy of your vocal folds and the muscles that are associated with producing the power for your vocal folds. Okay, so it talks about the diaphragm, the larynx, it talks about the cricothyroid, the thyroid retinoid, it talks about your soft palate region, it talks about the pharynx, all of these things that are essential to the operation of your voice and particularly the healthy operation of your voice. Okay, is this making sense? Am I moving too fast? I'm gonna slow down. I get, I get kind of excited about this material. Okay, okay, good, good. So, it's not that you have to read this book, but put it this way. Don't we have manuals on other things that we use in life? A car manual, a vacuum manual. Yeah, exactly. So why not have something that can be like a manual for our voice, especially in your case, considering that you use your voice professionally. Okay, so you see the logic. All right, good. So this book, yeah, it gives illustrations, and it's great for singers, vocal coaches, speech therapists, you know, you being a singer. So basically there are six chapters, we have the anatomy of breathing, we have the larynx, we have the extrinsic muscles of the larynx, the mouth and the pharynx, we have the face and the jaw, and the evolution and function of the larynx. Okay? And what I love is that it gives like great images, you know? So look at these images. This beautiful diagram. Yeah, all right. I see some pictures of the lungs. Let's see how it is. It's just. I'm such a nerd when it comes to this. And you don't have to be a nerd like me. But I just think, you know, this will be a great resource to learn about all the things that make your voice go. So yeah, and it's not that many pages, just, let's see, it's about, like 90 some pages, yeah, this, 90 some pages, so not too bad, okay, so this book is going to be great for a resource, it's going to help you to learn more about your body, your breath, your voice, and it will only inform you on how to stay healthy, okay, all right, any questions about this, awesome, all right, now let's get into the tool tool the two tools that I have for you okay so let's start off with I'm gonna call this singing straws now like I said I'm always you know, really conscious about cleaning this off. Give me one second. Wow. 
explain that when, we, when I get to it. Now, this is just a demo, so the, well, these are, are props, so I'm just showing you what we're going to do with them, but you, you'll have your own clips. Yeah, because this is going, going to go in your mouth, so I wouldn't give this to you. <laughs> so I'm going to demonstrate what they are. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with these. So these are straws that you're going to use to phonate. Phonate meaning to make sound. Okay. So you're going to sing through these, and you're going to do slides through these. So let me show you. It has a nice little cat. Okay. And then inside... You have three straws, and you also have a little cleaner. How cute is that? <laughs> so I'm just going to take one straw. And actually, now that I cleaned everything, I'm going to get this. Oh, let's put them in my pocket. Okay. So back to this. So... Here's the thing and here's how it works. These three straws, it's an exercise that is called, well, it's a, you know, I can call it this actually. It's an, ex oh, see, like I said, I'm such a nerd with this and I don't want to overwhelm you, but there's something called SOVTs, semi-occlusion vocal tract exercises. And that's what this is. So what we're going to do is again phonate through one to three of these straws and as you do that it is going to create a back pressure that will allow your throat space to stretch out and will also create pressure within your body that will help you to hold back back breath pressure i'm sorry to hold back breath pressure and therefore your vocal folds will vibrate more freely and then they'll start to heal that was a lot, and I got tongue-tied. Did that make sense? Okay, good. Yeah, yeah I'll say it one more time. So, semi-occluded vocal tract exercises. You vocalize through one of these, one, two, or three. It creates a back pressure that releases tension in the throat, allows the vocal folds to vibrate more freely so that they can heal and strengthen, and also helps you to hold back breath pressure by feeling different areas of your body work. Okay, and that's that's how you got into the situation where you were overusing your voice and you were pushing and pushing and then it got, you know, got the calluses and now you have vocal nodules, but this will help to clear that up. Okay, all right, so this is how it works. You take this and you just sing through it. So I'm just going to do a little slide. Okay, here's an example. You see, so when I do that, I can feel the pressure in my body building up. It's helping me to hold back excess breath, and I can feel the throat relaxing. Yeah, I can feel it relaxing, okay? So that's all you do. And then you take one of your songs and you sing through the straw. Let's say you were singing Happy Birthday. Then you would do... You see? And then once you do that and then sing after it, it's gonna feel so much easier to you. So I want you to spend at least 30 minutes a day on this exercise, okay? Now, the reason why you have more than just one straw is because resistance. So if you're using three straws, the resistance is lower. If you're using two, the resistance is a little bit higher and if you're using one the resistance is at its highest okay does that make sense okay so you're gonna see what resistance works best for you try it with three first and if it seems too easy drop it down to two 
And if it's too easy, drop it down to one, okay? But more than likely, you'll benefit from two starting off, okay? So just make sure that you don't, um, make sure that you don't just go to one because you're trying to, you know, just jump ahead and you know, you know what I mean? So we want to heal. Okay, so we got to take our time and be patient. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, good. So let me just clean these out for a second. So. I love this process. It's fun. You can also wash them, absolutely, and I do recommend you do that. <laughs> First thing you will do is breath work. I know, I, I need to stop self critiquing so often. Thank you for saying that, thank you. Okay. So, for this last one, can you see something? Okay, yes, I was talking to myself. So, this is a device that helps you to, okay, let me back up. So you remember about the straws, how they help you to hold back breath pressure, okay? And they also help you to relax the throat and the vocal folds can vibrate more freely and then you'll have more vocal support and you'll strengthen your voice and increase your range and, and just heal yourself from the, the poly, no, you have nodules, from the nodules. But we also need to strengthen our lung capacity and we need to strengthen our respiratory system, which is part of the lung capacity. And so this device is going to help to increase your lung capacity and strengthen your diaphragm, get it to move more freely. It's gonna help your lats and your rib cage to be more expansive. It's gonna help you to connect down to your pelvic floor, which acts as a second diaphragm, okay? So basically, you have this ball, this ping pong ball that goes inside here, because this comes off, okay, so I'll leave it on for now, and you're going to have this thick straw, so you're going to take this thick straw and place it right on there, like that, okay, then you're going to insert this into your mouth, and you're going to inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, now one more thing, as you can see, this has one, two, three holes in it. What I want you to do is to cover the big hole and the medium sized hole and just have the small hole open. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do as a demonstration, I'm going to inhale to make this ball rise and to stay up as long as possible. And I'm not going to just be pulling at the neck, not just, but at all. So I'm going to think about breathing from my ribs, from my lats, even down to my hips, down to my glutes, down to the buttocks, and down to the pelvis, okay? Even like the perineum. Yes, the space from behind the front of the genitalia leading back to the sphincter or the anus. All right, so here we go. Can you see the ball rise? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do one more, okay? Oh, 
And I see that I wasn't heaving from the neck, but I could feel my entire body lengthening and opening to accommodate for the necessary breath pressure to get this ball rise, risen. Okay? All right, now, you're gonna do maybe 10, 15, 20, 25 of those with a rest breath in between. Then you're gonna do another 10, I'm sorry, say it again. Oh, a rest breath, yes, rest breath meaning. You do one and then just kind of chill for a second. Let a natural breath come in and let it go out. And then do another. Okay, good. Yeah, listen, if I say anything that's confusing, then jump in, ask questions. Yeah, of course. All right, so you're gonna do 10, 15, 20, 25 of those with the rest breath in between. After that, you're then going to inhale, just like you did, but then before the ball drops, you're gonna do an exhale to keep it up, okay? Yeah, you do an inhale and then an exhale to keep it up, and that's gonna help you to gain more stamina. Okay, so here's an example. And then it drops. Did you see that? Okay, good. So I inhaled and the ball was up and I held it as long as I could. And then before the ball dropped, I did an exhale. Okay, does that make sense? Excellent, so we call these rotations. Okay, when you do an inhale and exhale, that's one rotation. You got it? So I'll do it one more time to show you. Inhale, then exhale, rotation. Let it fall, take a break, and then repeat. I'll do it one more time. All right, now, if you do this without having a break in between each rotation, you could get lightheaded, and I don't want you to experience that. All right, so just make sure that you don't rush it. Do one rotation and inhale and exhale without the ball dropping, then rest, take a rest breath, and then you can repeat, okay? Any questions about this device? Excellent, so of course you'll have a different one, not this one, <laughs> but um, oh, one more thing, one more thing. So you want to clean this, you want to clean the, the little tube there, and you also want to clean this, so this bottom, comes off. Okay, so I'm just yeah, there we go. So it comes off. You can wash this, wash the inside. You know, just use regular soap and water, dry it thoroughly, and then let it air dry some as well. And then you take this, put it back in, put this back on. And then you're good to use it again, okay? I want you, oh, you're good. Yeah, I was about to say that, yeah. So I want you to use this about three times a week starting off, okay? So remember, 10, 15, 20, 25 reps of just an inhale, then 10, 15, 20, 25 reps of the rotations. Three, maybe four times a week, and then that's it, okay? Any questions? All right. So, that's it. How do you feel? Optimistic, yes. Good, good, that's what I want. I want you to feel optimistic, because you should, because you will heal from this. It is not permanent. If you stick to this regimen, if you empower your mind with the knowledge about your voice, then you are going to have a full recovery and you'll be back on that stage and back in the, the photo booth. Oh, I'm sorry, not photo booth. But yeah, 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 recording booth, yeah. So I get my terms mixed up. I'm a nerd about the voice, but I don't know a lot about like, you know, the music industry, so. <laughs> yeah. So if you just, if you do this, you're gonna be okay. All right, any questions? Awesome. Keep in touch, 
Let me know about your progress. If any questions arise, just let me know. Okay? And let's get it going. You can do this. I believe in you. And you will recover fully. All right, good. So you can go ahead and you know make your way to the receptionist. And you don't need to make an appointment right now, so you're good to go. Okay, awesome. So I'll see you next time. All right, take care.